And of course, there's this thing. Which I'm sure... It's like part of a cutscene if you become the Slayer. Sit on it. Always sit on it. Must rub my gluteus maximi. Actually, glute... Glute maximi, right? <laughs> that would be pluralized on both. Both. Um, must rub them all. All over. Mason's journal. What is this Mason journal? Never in all the years of my craft have I felt I was carving my own tomb. This armored husk I once thought a man. He was trapped. He has trapped me here during the renovations. While he says I'm free to leave after work is done, it'll matter this god's awful smell. I'm no fool. Uh, yeah, well, he's dead. And there's blood over here. It may have been my blood, though. Because I did come over here while bleeding. I think it was. We're just going. Better not be cursed. Tiny little urns with two bones inside. Bet that will fit in my pack. It is a uh, booze. Booze, yeah, I'll take that. I didn't mean to click on it, but we also have legacy ledger here. Herein are lodged or logged the blood requisitions. The corpse wealth of our sacrifices taken from their dead hands. After chronicling and the assassins claim of their own tithe, the remainder should be brought afore the temple's leader. No longer the butler. Hmm? Yeah, capital B butler. As in past times, what falls is a detailed financial log of loot from the dead target, always accompanied by indulgent purple prose describing their cause of death. That's kind of funny, actually. That it's, uh, it's indulgently written. If you don't know what purple prose is, it's a term that I, I discovered Actually, not very recently, but like about two years ago or something. So it, it is kind of recent. It just basically means whenever you're trying to pad, pad uh, uh, the text to make it sound like you're saying more stuff than you are actually saying. Whether because you're trying to show off your writing skills or uh, because you're, uh, you have a word count that you need to reach. That's all purple prose. Although in that case, it, it, because it's indulgent, it probably means that it's, it's a show off kind of thing. Take those. What else did I get? A couple of boots here as well. That's just the normal boots that we keep finding all over the shop. And another one of these. We got a scroll of sunbeam. Definitely found that before. And nothing else. But this keeps going. It feels like somebody should be here. This is really weird. It feels like somebody should be here and it's like made for people. There's a prison. What? Didn't we get a key for this? Well, let's open them. There's a first Orville here. Also, I need to speak with the dead. I forgot about that. Dear Quill. That's kind of interesting. Talking to the Quill. The corpse has nothing to say. Okay, so it was just that one corpse that without a head that we actually couldn't cast Speak of the Dead with. Right? Or could we, and he just said, I don't know. Either way, this one doesn't have a head, and the, the narrator should point it out. Dear Quill, do you remember me? We spent a sweet evening chatting to one another after you gave a heart-stopping performance at the Nashkel Inn when I was on a patrol tour. I heard you were headed to Baldur's Gate to get your songbook published, and I've pre-ordered my copy. If you'd forgive a humble fist's boldness, I send you, in writing, what I wasn't bold enough to say on that night. Each one of your scales is a gem. Your eyes shine brighter than your throat fire. Im images of you have beset me since we met. You must have many suitors as a scholar of love ballads, but perhaps when you get to the gate, you'd meet me one starry night in The Blushing Mermaid, and the letter is clearly unfinished, the fist intending to write more before sending it. Yeah, also being in prison. Maybe. Well, actually, we don't know. First Orville. I don't recognize the name. But we don't know if he actually intended to. I say he, but actually I think I think it's a woman. Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh but um Yeah, because 
They could have come in here with a letter on their pocket. The bodies of our lambs must be nourished. An exclusive deal has been made with a runner of mass of a mass grave corpse yard in the Merrick Peatlands. Preserved bog body will be added from now on as a side to every meal for the faithful. If the prisoners don't like it, they can starve. Lovely. I don't think they liked it. Maybe they did. There's a keychain there. Is that... Is that keychain the thing that ha... I don't need that. I don't need no keychain. That's what I have my thieves tools for. Right there. I am very smart. I don't know if you've noticed. But uh, it's very true. Either way. Interesting thing is now... Can I talk to Cyrovox's body? He's dying a little. I don't believe I can. The corpse running silent. Yeah. Oh, there's something here. Ooh, I almost missed that. This is definitely on purpose. The abattoir. If you don't know... Oh, no. Oh, Valerie is here. Citizen, get me out of here. What are you doing here? I'm going to save. Um, yeah, if you don't know what abattoir means, that's the place where we keep the cattle. No, wait. Is it the place where we butcher the cattle? Get here and free me at once. Mm, maybe. What's going on? No, you're just the one making the noise. Citizen, thank the gods you're here. My wrinkles are starting to chafe. As an officer of the law, I demand you free me at once. Is that really how you're going to talk to me? They're supposed to be locked up, not me. Get me out! Yeah, that's not how it's going to happen. You may have the best voice actor in this game. Well, the, the best voice uh, of the voice actor. We have got Saravok's golden key. I want to see what that is. An elaborately gilded key. How do you gild something elaborately? Oh, no, yeah, I don't, how do, I, I'm not sure. That's what that was for. For this little gilded chest that has a black diamond in it. And the book, Memoirs of My Death. This is a memoir describing in detail the visions of Ball seen by Sarah Vokanchev after his death in the Ball Temple centuries ago. So that's the end of Baldur's Gate 2. So this happens, it's his perspective after the end of Baldur's Gate uh, 1, not Baldur's Gate 2, of Baldur's Gate 1. The brethren often ask me, what was it like to die? They expect me to present a warning, a warring conflict, the humiliation of the feet against the honor of sacrifice. But once dead, it is impossible to think of oneself, of life, for you are in Ball's own embrace. Ball's domain is a red waste land in a starless sky, halted in time before the collapse of the final sun. There I wandered, tasting the end of all things. I was dragged back from the precipice, bound to a living husk again by my mocking sibling. I resented it at first. I had forgotten how to breathe, to eat all animal functions to the petty who cling to life. But when I was cruelly resurrected, my faith was... And that's in Baldur's Gate too. My faith was bolstered more through my death than it could be through life. I would bring about Ball's perfect finale, the melting of the crimson sun above the lakes of blood. It will happen. This world will be carved in his image. He just, he just comes across as, as deluded, basically. Because he, he saw the end of time, or the, the heat death of the universe, or whatever. And, uh, and he's like, I want that faster. No, you idiot. That's not. It's not gonna, you're not gonna make it faster. You're not gonna kill a sun. Although that would be something. We have Valyria's stuff over here. Val Valyria's spare pipe. Tusk chewed and bent slightly to sit neatly under a trunk. This pipe has seen a great deal of the city's craven underbelly. And we also have uh, her hookah and uh, her trunk balm. A mysterious liquid has dried to the bottom of this bottle. You know, I think it's not mysterious. It says on the label. Valeria Snuff, this glass file, has been scrubbed clean of its former conte contents. And also, Mast Mastodonian memoirs. This book is 
redolent with the enticing smell of paper and ink. We see see that description a lot. I thought it was specifically for that other one, but apparently it's it's for everything. Bloody planetars, uh, which are uh, I don't actually know what what realm they come from. They're blue. You can summon them. I think at uh, level eight, you can summon a planetar. They show up, and uh, particularly I think in the expansion of Baldur's Gate too. But I'm pretty sure you can get their them from spells in just the default Baldur's Gate too. I tell them every time they deploy her, if you send someone to observe the blood war, there's a danger they could be recruited. Every time they say it's an, a minor heresy. Why? Zariel wouldn't be the first to fall. Lathander's light doesn't reach that far down into the plains. They say crime doesn't pay around here. They say that in the world of purest good, we'd have motive to do e who'd have motive to do evil. They also say the path to the hells is paved in good intentions. So which is it? Of course, they don't really know. Hypocrites, a lot of them. It's just one bloody ad adage after another up here. But if you ask what any of them mean, who, why, what, no one's interested. Lulu's no help either. She's a model holyphant, a perfect example, my superiors are quick to remind me. And she's fallen for Zariel's act, hook and all. No, it's not an act. Zariel believes what she's saying. She's just wrong, foolish. And Lulu's a fool to believe it too. It's official. I depart to Baldur's Gate at the earliest opportunity, spreading conspiracy disorderly drinking. First, I didn't know there was a prohibition in place. Second, if you don't want me drunk, don't send me to the, the Feywild. Gnomes have the best mead. Then all the other allegations weighing against my person have tipped my reputation over the edge of a cloud down to Toril. Of course, it's not phrased like that. Your sense of justice is needed by the morals. Baldur's Gate has a lively tavern scene. Piss off. I know what they're really thinking. Pain's the trunk, the lot of them. Not to say I told you so, but my connections tell me Zariel's broken code to intervene in the blood war. Oh, really? Hmm. Curious. If only someone had warned them. Apparently she's killed a horde of Yono, Yonogos gnolls running rampant down here in Toril. Her heart's in the right place. It's a shame her sword isn't. She's too reckless to be let near the blood war. And I reckon this is just the beginning. But alas, I've picked up a rather handy new phrase since setting up in Baldur's Gate. That's none of my business. Oh, that is... That is an interesting phrase. Um, that is That is interesting. So Valyria is from another plane. I didn't realize that. She's from the heavens of sorts. You free me at once. Sorry, I, I'm having trouble. Oh, there it is. I didn't find the key, but that's not a problem. Yes. Thanks for freeing me so quickly. No idea what those Baalist Burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I, uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. Yeah, over. How'd you end up here? After our chat at Charesse's caress, I thought it best to polish off the bottle I'd started. I started coming over all woozy. My joints stiffened up quicker than a brothel browser's loins. Paralyzed. My vision went black. When I woke up, I was in chains. Overall, a terrible ordeal. One deserving of a drink. I bid you good day, but it's been royally shite all round. Yeah. Are you sure we're finished, though? Because, you know, it's ball. You might not be finished. I am. It's plain to see that I'm well out of my depth here. But you... Well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage. Insight. Heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? Mind who you call history, Holyphant. Very good. Now, let's talk and find that temple. This place is foul as piss. I'm out of here. And she is. Investigate the murders. That's the main quest. Rescue. Oh, because this is for Halsin. 
Right, 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 right. Well, we could do that, but we can le let Halsen stew for a little while longer. Yes? I, uh, I just wanted to see if you guys say anything about this. Copper for your thoughts. But no. I mean, if they don't, Gil doesn't either. Go ahead. I'm listening. All right. So, we can send them to camp, interestingly enough, because it's literally not possible from here. All right, so that means there's skull lanterns here. That's just normal. It's good to be back to this sort of iconography. I do enjoy the the simplistic design of Ball's symbol. Although I do believe that is not an invention of Ball's Gate One. It was actually it's it's part of the the lore for um, for Dungeons and Dragons. It may be a little bit different these days, but still. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's just make our way back. And with that, we could go back down to the sewers. Find a way to access the Temple of Ball. Why is it marked down there? That's weird. Or... Forge of the Nine, yeah. Or what we could do... Is we could try exploring a little bit more of the upper city and try to figure out where that other place that we keep trying to go to uh, even though we know exactly where it is i just don't want to come come back or come out in on in behind the the balcony balcony balkan you know the behind the you know what i'm trying to say right because we come up the stairs and it's where no we're supposed to be so obviously we could do that but look at all this stuff what is this that doesn't look nice. It's got a plaque. So, um, Jahira, do you like to... That is, what do you like to do? As in... Interviews, hobbies, gossip, all of it gets in that bloody mouth rag. Except... I like to play music, I suppose. Just picturing you strumming on a harp so hard the strings snap and try not to shriek. <laughs> uh, what, what do you play? <laughs> Mostly the same children's rhyme. I battered whistle of you. I do not get a lot of time to practice. Spare me the sad eyes, girl. It's not every daily deed is worthy of song. Only none I can play. There's a lot of people here talking at the same time. There's these kids. The devils in there can swallow kids whole. Even stinky. Are they that big? You first. I double drab dare you. Are you afraid? Yes. I'm not going in there. To hell. It was Runt's idea. <laughs> you guys are trying to go in there. I think that's the, the house we were looking at. There was somebody going around as well complaining about things. But I don't know where they went. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's just a city. Maybe it isn't you. I need a quick word. Speak thrice the phrase correctly and lucky you'll forever be. Okay, great. Scarab, scar... Oh, damn it! Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? Scarab, sap, scarab's cap... Oh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> Scarab, sap, scarab, sap, scarab, spat. Look, you're really not helping. I know. Hi. Can you believe it? They removed the Baldur's Mouth puzzle section. That was the best bit. And for what? An interview with some lord. I don't care what he's done. I just want my letter games back. Sorry about that. They probably shouldn't, like, make books with them and things. <laughs> She's talking about uh, the crossword puzzles again. I think I think it is again. I'm not sure, but yeah, um, newspapers have uh, have those. This is a lovely place. What is it though? Well, we haven't messed with the plaques. Let's see. I love it. I absolutely adore the aesthetic. The devil's fee. Okay, that's what this is. It may be what I'm thinking of. This may be the thing that we that we're trying to get to. And we're going around with, with a fire Myrmidon around us. It's just, or Myrmidon rather. Um, it's just, it's idyllic. 
Excuse me. I think we are in the right place. Hellsick. Excuse me. I don't seem to have business here. Maybe Jahira says something. Avernus Survival Guide. An Infernal Diamonds. I can't right click to see, to investigate. Wait, I can press T though. No, I can't. I can open this. Infernal gems straight from the heart of Minaurus. Quite the rarity. Hmm. Must be a diabolist running this shop with so many devilish looks. Oh, the Diabolus thing. That's what you mean. And yeah, what is that? Why are you... Oh, it's worth a look because we get the description. Orb of Infernal? Something over there. Oh, it's another one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The monster's horn. The horns of a real war devil. Bet they were a pain to acquire. And an Orb of Infernal Envisioning. I can use it? Within the crystal, you see the devil Raphael sipping from a goblet of blood red wine. He smiles as he catches your eye. Can he see you? No, he can. It's not. It's a picture. It's like he catches the camera. Smiler the Defiler. Yeah, we read that, I think, downstairs, in fact. Yep. Yeah. Portrait of a noble. Oh, don't do not do whatever you're doing. What is that? Oh, it's the... I'm clicking on the fire murmur on. A portrait of a noble devil. Charming, sophisticated, deadly. The hell's unleashed. Yep. And a plaque. Aramin the Erudite. The epitome of devilish charm, wit, and grace. And a monster skull. Oh, right. The monster. This head's a long way from home. Belongs to one of the few plains death devils. That might be worth a look. We looked at it already. It is kind of weird that we basically get the... <laughs> the notification after finding things. The portrait's eyes seem to follow you around the room. Did it just wink at you? Yes. Even the portrait knows how just how awesome I am. Helsink. No, Helsick. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be and shop with glee. Oh no, definitely something up with this one. Trust me. Your hoard of genuine infernal items is impressive. Show me the really good stuff. Well, well. It's been a while since I've had such discerning custom. Here, you may browse my more curated selection. What do we have in your curated... Ooh, yeah, well, we have a little bit of money for one. We also have spell-seeking gloves. When you make a spell attack roll, you can spend a sorcery point... What is that? A sorcery point. They're an important facet of a sorcerer's power. Oh, it's for sorcerers. Yeah, we don't we don't do that. So that's not necessary. Got some dice. Um, we also have Gemini Glove over here. Can trips targeting foes and allies can be target or can tar target an additional creature. Or the chain. Wow! Or the ch the same target can be chosen twice. Put it over there. Absolutely. Cloak of the Weave plus one bonus to spell save the C and spell attack roll. And also absorb elemental once per short rest, which is just a flat increase of one of our cloaks. Shapeshifter hat. Increase your wild uh, uh, shape charge by one. This additional charge is restored upon taking a long rest. And also, yeah, that's not very important. It's also very cheap, so it's still not very important. I'll take it. It's unique. A halberd, halbe, hel, halbeard, halberd. That's what that is. Kative staff plus one to spell save DC and attack rolls. We have that, but it's different. 
Is it very expensive? It is not very expensive. But it is expensive enough that I, d I don't want to buy it. And... Yep, pretty good. Let's pay for that. And there it is. Now you've seen what I have for thee. Remember, discretion is key at the devil's fee. And we can ask about Gortash messing with her. Because I think we read about Gortash... Uh, did we... It's Hellsick. It must... That must be where the name... Why the name sounds familiar. Although we did see her name, I think. Or, or rather, I did read her name when we came here. The the first time around. Let's see. What do you have over here? Gain plus... Yeah, this is just... Plus another one. It's another one! Oh my god, it looks it looks pretty awesome. Cast a spell while I may... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty awesome. And uh, the cantrips. What gloves do you have? Plus one bonus to spell attack. The spell attack rolls. <laughs> I think it may be better for her. Because she, ne she never lands her spell attacks for whatever reason. I mean, it, it, it's it's because the, her spell attacks are dexterity based. Then it's, it's a different, a different challenge. But uh, yeah. Hellsick. My most perceptive, prospective customer. Welcome back. Curious don't interest me. I'm interested in the hells themselves, a place called the House of Hope in particular. Truly? That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You stand before Mammon's Picklock. Latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the Hells. That's my thing. Hmm. So we need to bring Astarion here. Yeah, Raphael told me... Um... Wait a minute. That's a good point, what Raphael told me. He told me the crown of Karsus was stolen from Mephistopheles. Were you involved with that? Lord Gortash wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. So I punched a portal into the Archdevil's dusty vaults. And then I... Oh, gosh. My fickle memory fails. If only something would jog it. I think dice throws are probably going to jog it. I have to pay. All right, I'll pay. I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. Gortash stole the crown of Carsus. Pissed off Mephistopheles, but rather intrigued another devil by the name Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Let's poke around the rat's nest. Maybe set it on fire on the way out. Yeah, that's a good plan. Um, Can you help me break into the House of Hope? What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. I don't have that kind of money. Hey, wave, wave the fee, and I'll add one of Raphael's artifacts to your collection. We can pull that off, right? It's doable. We can pull it off. We can pull it off. Promise you. Promise you. In fact, I think we just did. 
Luckily, very, very luckily, we did. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? N uh, sure. Sure, winky face. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone. Yeah, to the, I would never. I would not pay. I don't have that kind of money. But also, I will kill her. I want the gloves of giant. Uh, I want those gloves. I want those gloves. Unless they kill me. If the gloves cost twenty, like, because I, I want them for Carla. I just the uh, heal. It's still giant, right? Or, is, or maybe maybe they aren't that good, actually. Because if it is just heal giant strength. Cloud giant. Was it heal giant? I think it was heal giant. Yeah, maybe they're not that good. It's only 21. She has 20, so it's basically the same thing. If it is, 20, if it is heal giant, then it doesn't matter. If it is cloud giant, oh, it matters. Oh, it absolutely matters. It's plus three to attack rolls and to damage rolls. It's just really good. And we have a grimoire bound in imp skin. Poor imp. Infernal transposition ritual. Blood circle configuration. Place that which has no eyes, but used to see at the western point of the circle. What? It's a fucking riddle. I love that. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait. Coin of Mammon. This coin reeks of a strong... Metallic stench, usually indicating an entire horde of treasured metal. Infernal marble. A diamond, incense, and a skull. Okay. So, it's not that big of a riddle. So, it's not like the proper riddles in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Anyway. Um, oh, it says over here, to open the portal, we must place the ritual items in the proper places on the blood star. Place the skull on the star point near the altar. Oh, I don't want the, the results. I want this. Place that which has no eyes to see at the western point of the circle. Two spaces lie opposite that point. Pawn, a pawn, a pawn, the left. Why would you write an apostrophe instead of an A? I wonder. Either way, upon the left, place that uh, what is cut but cannot bleed. It's a diamond. Wow. It's just puns, isn't it? Well, it, the first one isn't pun. To the right, that which smells but cannot sniff. Again, a lot of things smell and are inanimate. Uh, in fact, most things smell. The Beside the dead, uh, including the, the other two things. Besides the dead remains the aspect of the avarice lord sits clockwise, and then the circle's center shall receive the internal marvel of an infernal marvel. Finally, and I mean no disrespect, go to hell. Legal notice, the owner of this grimoire asserts that it is for scholarly and recreational purposes only, exclamation mark. As a mere dealer in antiques, I disbelieve... In the very existence of infernal transplanar travel, Helsic. For sure. Well, we have the instructions. We could do it right now. I don't think I, I need um, Astarion with me. That might be worth a look. It is a bust. Everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. My bad. And now I have a discount. I didn't mess with that, didn't I? The bus was looking the other way around. And now there's a hatch. Okay. That's when we come back. 
She do she really doesn't like me now, does she? You need to go around? Come on. Oh, there's a there's something there. My most perceptive prospective customer. Well, now you've seen what I have for thee. Yeah, it's only plus one. What is that blackboard? What does it say? Management is not responsible for missing body parts, enslaved loved ones, trapped souls, or ancient world-destroying curses. Hopefully none of those will happen. Oh, also there's a portal of a noble. Looking at the painting makes you dizzy. You feel a dull pressure behind your eyes. Hmm. Something over there. Where? Oh, is she coming here? Or is she upset that I'm here? It may be upstairs. No. Yeah, don't throw that and I'll look all innocent. Yeah, she's upset that I'm here. She didn't follow me. Curious. Curious. 